Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some more Link to the Past. We did some stuff in the overworld of both the light and dark worlds. Wound up here in the Village of Outcasts, which is the dark world equivalent of Kakariko. We're on a hunt for some heart pieces. We'll be doing more of that as well today, and if we have time. We are also going to be doing a dungeon. So fingers crossed we can get all this done today. There's actually not too much left, but I feel like with your help and patience, we can make it happen. I don't have patience though, because I'm not a doctor. All right, so if you come up here first, things first. This ledge looks a little suspicious, doesn't it? Wow, wow, wow. Use that. Come into this little cave. This is my hiding spot. If you're low on hearts, a great place to be. I don't know if you can break these just by running. Nope. Why could you? It's fine. We have plenty of bombs. Save the bombs for your mom. Okay. And get yourself another piece of heart. That's a heart container filled, so... We have 12 now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Pretty incredible. So we did a really nice job. I uh, appreciate that. We're gonna go back to the dark world though. We still have these, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. We have these uh, moldy garbage presents. Still trying to come at us. Not a huge fan. All right. Ooh. Need to get rid of these guys. Clear the way. Kind of trapped in here for a second. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay. So this looks pretty good, actually. Can we lift these yet? No. Makes you think. I'm in the wrong spot. This looks right. Yes, this area is a little telling. We're going to be using the mirror on and off today, so. This is actually a really strange place that they decided to put this item, but you'll just have to live with it. Or not. Okay, maybe I need to do this. There we go. All those pose flying around. Yeah, of all the places to put an item, here is one of them. And there you go. No capes. So this is the magic cape. I'm going to demonstrate real quickly what this does. It turns you invisible and it consumes a lot of your your magic power. So just be mindful of that. And ooh, excuse me, I am trying to talk. Back to the dark world we go, of course. This is going to be a consistent theme if you haven't been paying attention. So we're just trying to get all the things. We got to get out of this area really quickly. Everything is kind of a bit of a, a little bit of a maze. But it's, it's all going to be worth it. Trust me. We have... Just a few more items to get. I say a few, that's a lot. wonder what that arrow could mean. It means no thank you. Oh, nope, there's pterodactyls out here. No, no, no. These things do a ton of damage. Stop it. Quit. Everything also takes two hits, which is annoying. I have no patience for this. These guys are brutal. And you thought the you thought the grumpy cows were a problem. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh nope. You've angered the grumpy the grumpy mouth. I'm gonna get you Link. Alright. Let's see. This looks a little suspicious too. Maybe we pop into the light world and see what everything is about. Whoa, there's a bunch of bees. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Oh, no, bees. Bees. Ah, everything is horrible. And we're, okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. Well, we have a fairy that we're about to waste. That was fun. Okay, everything is still horrible. Nothing has changed. The state of affairs, we are mercilessly killing a bunch of bees, which I feel bad about. Don't kill bees. They're very necessary for human life. There's an apple here. These restore health. Little fun fact for you, if you need some. You can do that. I actually forgot about that until just uh, now. So, you know, it's just a little fun fact. I think I want to keep going north, though. I'm looking for a peculiar little tree here. There it is. This tree looks a little weird, doesn't it? Doesn't it? All right, so enough goofing around. If you bump into that tree, you can jump into it. Pretty neat. And even better than jumping into a tree is recovering a fairy when you are a ding dong and you got attacked by a bunch of bees. So gonna go ahead and just absorb one of them and then grab the other. We're gonna keep it in a bottle. Oops, did I mess that up? I certainly did. Let's try that again. Wait, can I come? Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe if I go in here and then I come back. This is actually the piece of heart that might have been seen in the last episode. I don't remember, but. Fairies, can you come back? Okay, maybe not. That's okay. We will survive. I say that and then we're going to get our butts kicked. Because right now I'm rolling with a fairy and some Mountain Dew. So that's not great. Well, I guess that's just, I guess that's just what we're living with. Um... It is what it is. Anyway. So now that we've done that, we can go back to where we were before. Make a little trek back. No. Why is everybody so grumpy? Leave me alone. We're gonna go back to whence we last came. We were in the cemetery, so we will make our way back to the... Whoop. Oh, that was dumb. Just jumped right on him. We are using our noggin to high levels in this episode. Let's see if we can find our portal that we made. Not to be confused with the game portal. Um, where was the last one I made? I don't remember. I thought it was down here somewhere when I grabbed the... Uh... I don't... No, I don't... <laughs> I thought this is where it was. Maybe not. Okay, well, we do want to go... We actually do want to go back to the... Um, to the dark world. That would be advantageous for us to do so. Stop it. Oh, I do want that. I want my sword beams back. I have an addiction to sword beams. All right. Well, we're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way then. So I don't remember where I put my stuff. But that's okay. We have, I think one or two more, one or two more heart pieces to find. You can just leave me alone, thanks. I don't need to deal with your bit. Wasn't it up here? I'm getting lost. Like I'm not lost, but I'm like, kind of, there it is. I walked all those screens for nothing. All right. We're going to go ahead and use our 2D flute here. And we're actually going to warp away. With our duck friend. Maybe not. Hold on a second. I lied. That is not what I meant to do. The order of operations have been broken. I forgot that you can't use your flute in the Dark World. So clearly everything is going great. I meant to use the flute now. See ya, bye. All right. We're going to go to location four. This is our house. Our house. All right. So now we can head down.
I think. This is where I went. Hold on a second. I'm just trying to reorient myself. If you remember, this is another location where we can enter the dark world, which we will be doing here in a second. Wow, wow, wow. All right, very good. I like that the, the dark world pegs aren't really like, I don't know, fully fleshed out. They're just kind of like little weird pink blobs. But we're gonna be playing a mini game here in a second. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, that, uh, that dungeon. We might be running out of time. I mean, not really running out of time, but you know. Okay, I think this is where the mini game is. Maybe, hold on. Is this it? Looks like it. Okay, who do I? Okay, I have gone the wrong way, but that's okay. Ledges are our friend. We can talk to this. This is really creepy. What's in your cheeks? It's like a hamster trying to hide a snack. All right, here we go. It's the treasure field. Object is to dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasures you do dig up will be yours to keep. So we've got plenty of rupees. Thanks to the uh, time spent in the village of Outcast. And once again, if you do need more rupees, that shed does have 300 and there is another house in the northwest part of the uh, of the village that does have another 300. So this is fun. We've already almost gotten our investment back, but we are not uh, doing great with the finding the piece of heart part of the digging game. So once again, I'm going to do this. Can I not? Hold on. I think I have to leave the screen every time. That's really inefficient. Okay. We're actually going to be heading to Death Mountain after this. So that was kind of a little hint earlier. We were in that area. So yes, we will do this as many times as I need to get that piece of heart. It's kind of annoying, but um, I'm only going to do this, like I said, probably... And one more time on screen and then I will just keep playing this endlessly until I find it because I hate myself but I love you guys and I don't want you to suffer through me playing the digging game unless I find it in one of the three attempts which would be amazing I doubt it that would make my life a lot easier and make this recording way less obnoxious okay so oh for two that's okay One more try. And then I will off screen this piece of heart. For your pleasure or not, maybe you really enjoy watching people suffer. In which case, this episode in this moment might be for you. I'm getting, a, I'm doing a good job on the rupee front. I'm not having too much trouble finding the, um, those 20 rupee hits, those are pretty good, but obviously not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the real deal. I don't know if there's like a specific way to know that it's going to be in a certain spot. I can imagine this being, oh, there it is. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Wait, oh, wait, that counted. Viewers, that counted. Never mind. We don't have to do it another time. Wow. I thought it was going to deprive me. I was going to be really, really, really upset. Thankfully, we made it. With our prize in tow, we can continue on to... Oh, landing on someone. Sorry, how scary would that be if you see somebody just kind of pop out of the abyss at you? All right, so we're gonna use our fluty flute again. Gonna be heading up to Death Mountain. The game already has it selected for us, very convenient. Okay, we're gonna go all the way up, all the way up. 
All right, and try not to get murdered by the rocks this time. Doing a good job of being hit. That's two, three times. A lady. Four. Okay, awesome. Really gonna be glad that I didn't grab that secondary fairy. But we're actually gonna be able to use the item we just grabbed today to nab another item. Kind of a weird juxtaposition of things, using one thing to get another, but that's Zelda for ya. If you don't like it, you can just get out. We're actually looking for the Dark World portal. There it is. Feels like we're already in the Dark World, but we're not. Do you remember the last time we were here, we were a rabbit? And tricks are for cats, so. Going in this cave, though, will produce some fun results. This cave is not accessible for a long time. You need the magic mirror and the hammer and the cape. I was actually just meaning to say the magic hammer and cape, but for some reason the word magic mirror just jumped down at me. So we're gonna use this. You will not take damage on spikes as long as you're using the magic cape, you are invisible and invulnerable. Okay, I'm trying to push this. Maybe I need to... Okay. Well, that's not what I... <laughs> that is not what I intended to do. I was trying to lift that rock, but apparently the game did not want me to do that. And I'm out of magic power. Oh, boy. There we go. That was dumb. I was trying to do that the entire time. I wasted a fairy on that. And I don't have any magic to make it back, so... We'll just take the Cane of Verna. I think I'm actually just gonna save myself. And just save and quit at this point. Okay. The title screen, haven't seen that bad boy in a hot minute, but we're doing great. Back to the dark world, but we actually are going to leave it right away. Oh, I do not have any fairies, would love to get one, need to find a spot for that. We're getting a ton of items. Oh, this leads right to the castle, that's neat. But that's not where we're wanting to go. We're going to use the flute again. This episode's all over the place, but trust me, it's worth it. You're going to need you're gonna need all these items eventually, so... Going back to the house, to the homestead. We don't have any magic, which is unfortunate. But, um... We're just going to be acquiring basically all the... A lot of... I shouldn't say all. A lot of the secondary items in the game. But we're headed back the way that we were earlier. We need to go back to the Dark World again. This is just the most convenient way to go. So we're doing that. It's really hard not to do that. I'm sorry, everybody. I really like it. Hopefully we can find... Um, hopefully we can find some magics. Not be attacked by this pumpkin. Imagine how much not fun carving pumpkins would be if they tried to lick you. They exploded in the middle and then tried to lick you. I'd be pretty upset by that. Oh, boy. I do not have any fairies. I'm not being very careful right now. Very, very careful. I'm gonna try to be careful, because I obviously... I'm going to try to be careful. I don't want to die, obviously. It's not the end goal here. There's so many of these gross... Ugh. All right, I need to find which of these skulls won't kill me, and then I can kill these birthday presents. My birthday is in October, though, so... Would be pretty amazing to not get a garbage present. Okay, so I don't think that we can enter any further into the area we're trying to go. So instead, we're going to pop into the light world. We got a little bit of book learning to do here. There's another tablet in the desert that we weren't able to read before. But with the book of Medora, everything will come to our eyes. There you go. Coming to this spot. 
We'll kill that bird. And give you the Bombos medallion. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is probably the most powerful one I would say in the game. Pretty awesome. So just go ahead and hop back in that portal. We're heading back to the dark world. So we actually need to go to the pyramid, which is way up there, which this is going to be a bit of a trek because of how damaged we are. So we're going to be careful here. Um, we will, uh, I think if we, can we save and quit from here? Maybe we'll try it. Hopefully this will still deposit us into the dark world. Yes. So that's very convenient. So using the Pyramid of Power, I think there's also the... Uh, is that what this area is called? I don't know. Isn't there like a fairy fountain here somewhere too? There is something right there, a big cracked wall that we can't really interact with yet, unfortunately. I thought there was something... Hold on. Am I just dreaming of... I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, viewers. All right, leave me alone. I'm having fun exploring and stuff. Okay. We're just having fun. Having fun isn't hard if you've got a library card. Be very careful here. This area is infested with... Oh! No! Ooh! With enemies. Especially these big old ogres. I don't want to have a game ogre. <laughs> oh, I have my... I was like, man, it'd be really nice if I had my arrows equipped right now. I do. And I'm not using them. Whoa! I haven't really been using my items as... Liberally as I should be. Alright. We do want to head south here. We're headed to the Swamp Palace in this area. So we're going to have some fun. Alright, you going to be quiet here? Okay, fun is over. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. We will be getting there shortly, trust me. It's not very often I have back-to-back -back episodes that are overworld, but there's just so much to do. So we will get there. We got him. I like that they give you a bomb there. We are very close to our destination, where we will be there shortly. Okay, hold on a second. We're getting close. I think we're just about in the area I need to be. These uh, little statues in the ground with the Triforce on top are kind of your indicator that you're going the right way. I think, hopefully. There it is. Yes, this. So this is kind of the, the um, establishment that we want to be in, but unfortunately, we can't really do a whole lot inside this building yet. So we're going to need to do something back in the old light world, so... We'll spruce it up first, and then we can go inside. Yes. Okay, so if we remember, we've already done this. But, uh... Oops. <laughs> I already failed a basic puzzle. There you go. I, I was thinking to myself, like, I'm not gonna mess it up as I mess it up. What a classic thing to do. Here at DMike Industries, we pride ourselves on sometimes making the same mistake twice for comedic reasons. Okay. We need to pull this lever. Pull the lever! There we go. We need to flood things again. And then once we're done, we can go back into the portal. The portal has a nice explosive pee there. Okay. Somehow, by opening that floodgate, it changes things here, too. I don't quite know how that works, but... Welcome to the flood, the flooded, now flooded, Swamp Palace, which we will be doing next time. This episode's kind of run on a little bit long, but I promise you, the next episode we will be taking on... One second. The next episode, if everything would stop trying to kill me, 
we'll be taking on the Swamp Palace. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays and Link to the Past, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.